Hello, welcome to worship here on St. Paul's YouTube channel. I'm Chad Adamick, pastor at St. Paul's Lutheran Family in Carson City, Nevada. We are a congregation of the ELCA. Whatever day you're watching or whatever time of day, I'm so glad you're here worshiping with us virtually through the miracle of the internet and of YouTube. This weekend, we'll be commemorating Christ the King. And I'll explain in the sermon kind of where Christ the King Sunday comes from and what it has to do with, with our life together as, as church. If you'd like a worship booklet, if you click on the link in the description, you can download that. You'll get the worship service and you'll get the announcements towards the back of the booklet. I do have a couple of announcements to highlight. First of all, the youth group and the women of the ELCA chapter will be putting up the angel tree. Now, each year, St. Paul's gets names of a couple families referred to us from the Carson City Schools, and our youth group and women's group combined forces to try to make their Christmas much happier by, by shopping for toys, clothing, necessities, the things that many families in need are asking for. And so what we do is we set up a Christmas tree out in the narthex, we decorate it, and we put on little paper angels. And on the back of the paper angel, you see the child's age, their gender, and the gift that has been requested by the family. And so you take that, uh, you buy your gift, and you stick that angel onto the gift, and we put it under the Christmas tree. Well, because the pandemic is still raging on, and I know many of you are not able to come to church and are sheltering in place, which by the way, if you can, please do so, all right? No need to make unnecessary trips. But just know that if you, you can still participate in the angel tree. We will be putting up a virtual angel tree online on our website and on our social media. You can visit these places and you can virtually select an angel, uh, a gift idea for a child. And in this day and age, like I mentioned last week, you can shop online. Many online realtors will gift wrap and they can even ship it to the church so you don't have to leave your home to go and, and drop off your gift, if that helps. Also, if you prefer not to go that route, go the corporate Amazon route, which I can understand, maybe you can find a way to uh, get uh, somebody who, who you have a connection with, somebody that you trust, and, and um, I guess you, you already seek help out with errands to maybe go shop your gift and gift wrap it and bring it to the church. But I just know that you're still welcome to help out with the angel tree in any way you can. If you have any other questions, please contact the church office. Our church contact information is also in the description under these videos. Also, St. Paul's is hosting the Night Off the Street Warming Shelter for the homeless residents of Carson City. Due to COVID restrictions, we can only house 25 guests per night. And they meet over at Fish, Friends and Service Helping, their location on Long Street and North Carson, and they are bused over here to the church. If you know of anybody who does need a place to stay, um, please let us know and we can get this individual information as far as where to meet the bus for the warming shelter. But we'll be hosting through the end of the month, through November 30th. And finally, this Saturday, the youth group will be putting together the Thanksgiving baskets over at Fish's food pantry. That'll be this Saturday beginning at 9 a.m. And even though it's a youth group project, people of all ages are welcome to come out. So if you happen to catch this video 
uh, before uh, Saturday, November 21st, 9 a.m. And want more? You can call me at the church office. But this is over at the FISH headquarters. Again, FISH is an acronym, Friends in Service Helping. And they're located on North Carson Street, just north of downtown, at the intersection of Carson and Long Street. So it's less than a mile from our church here in Carson City. Well, with that, we prepare our hearts and our minds for worship. And we'll begin with the confession and forgiveness found in the worship booklet. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, in whose image we are made, who claims us and calls us beloved. Amen. Holy One, we confess that we are not awake for You. We are not faithful in using Your gifts. We forget the least of our siblings. We do not see Your beautiful image in one another. We are infected by sin that divides Your beloved community. Open our hearts to Your coming. Open our eyes to see you in our neighbor. Open our hands to serve your creation. Amen. Beloved, we are God's children, and Jesus, our beloved, opens a door for us. Through Jesus, you have been forgiven. By Jesus, you are welcome. In Jesus, you are called to rejoice. Let us live in the promises prepared for us from the foundations of the world. Amen. 